Ah, yes, this is exactly what Idaho looks like. You know, it's a one-to-one -one scale, to be honest. So we're going to once again build a nice coastal city, but we have a bunch of this, you know, radioactive grass over here. So we're going to try to, you know, do the good old Idaho thing, and that's just farm potatoes, 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 potatoes. Because that's really all Idaho is known for, and the only thing Idaho is good for, potatoes. And we're going to have one nice, really, really nice coastal road right here, so we can get full access to all the potato farming. And of course, we're going to start off once again with a big coal power plant. Oh yeah, that's going to look really nice. Now, honestly, I would already love to live in this city. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so I made all the living areas. Now I just want people. Just all of this people. Just give me people. There we go. That should be enough people. And I just realized, since these people, you know, are building a build where there's no water. Because why? But, you know, they're a hideo- They're just- Ohio, yep. Idaho, wait, yeah, oh, of course, now you people want power, oh my god, fine, I'll, you know what, I'll be nice, I'll bring the power, power plant production over to you, fine, you know, you did it, fine, now we're just gonna put a bunch of factories down, hopefully this will start up our potato production, and if it doesn't, oh well, we're gonna have some nice pollution as an outcome either way. We're taxing all of you 11%. All of you get taxed a little bit more. I don't care about your happiness. I care about money. And that's what we all need as an equal government. Great. Now we go to like take care of health and stuff. So, yeah. All right, fine. We'll just put a medical clinic. We'll put that right next to all the factories. That's a really nice placement. And the school. Oh, it's like a European map. That sucks. What do we have to do with Europeans? No one likes them. All right, you know what? We'll put the school, you know. This is your average European Idaho school. Right there. Right next to all the factories. Ah, yes. You saw that. They were all happy over there. They loved it. Alright, look at all the Idahoans moving around. You know, it's such a happy little city. That is also definitely not what you call Idaho citizens. But oh well. Look at all of them. Industrial needs. We'll put a big, you know, big thing there. And then... Oh, come on. We need 1,300 people. But you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna quickly make all of that that go in here boom let's go and we can already start firing some potatoes you know what lake heights no that's gonna be potato wait Pota potato farming money go up yeah potato farming money go up yeah, I like that. Oh, uh-oh, 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 just build there, build, build, I'll build for you, build. Alright, connect everything, come on, just connect, come on, connect, build, oh well, we we'll also put the, we we'll put the police station also just there, yeah, I like that. Somehow I just got an achievement for the greenest city. <laughs> sure. Idaho is definitely a green city. Alright, the city is so green that even the radiation grass has turned bad. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. Because, you know, our city's pollution is stronger than the radiation that we had in the farming grass. It looked like this, now it looks like that. That makes total sense. Alright, we need some giant great expansion, so all of this, just people. Just give all of that people. Give me people. And then, we don't want people there. We want business there. That should work, right? Yeah. And now I can place down my farming center building. And that gives us all of these. So that's cool. I don't really know what any of this stuff does, but I'm going to find out. So first we need to build you know, a bunch of these. Hopefully that's enough. I don't really know. And we're going to give them a little silo thing. Because, you know, we're good boys. <laughs> but now the number one thing is we have to make sure all these are potatoes. Because that is going to be our only export from this entire city. 
potatoes. And potatoes are going to be what our economy runs upon. Ooh, airport. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of other roads I'm not going to use. Ooh, elder care, child care, come on. What? Cemetery. Ooh, cemetery. Ooh, USS Ronald Reagan. Hell yeah. Where's that? I bet your city doesn't have a USS Ronald Reagan just sitting in this river. Yeah, what do you got against us? Come on. We got an entire aircraft carrier protecting this town. But, since I just got that airport, I think the best thing to do is put a giant airport over here once we get enough money. And then, you know, we'll get everyone in. Alright, we have four dead people, but we don't have anywhere to store them. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to build a giant cemetery just right here. And that's going to, you know... Yeah, <laughs> that's going to hopefully fix everything. But then right next to it, we're going to put the elder care. And you know that their slogan is something like, The future is upon you. Facts, though. Great, now we ran out of power. Now we need to get another coal power plant here. Come on, people. Just, you know, don't run out of power. Just that simple. Just don't. All right, I have, like, no money. I need to save money so I can build my airport. Alright, there we go. And then now I just want people. There we go. <laughs> Alright, great. Now I have to go back in here and, you know, put water all over everyone. Yeah. Again, you gotta water your people or else they get mad. Or your life lesson. Or you water your friends. So yeah, I think it's finally time to expand the potato farm. So what we're gonna do is gonna build a lot more roads. And then just fill all the simple potatoes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. And that like completely like destroyed my budget. But oh well. It's potatoes. I think also something that might be needed is to have fishing harbor. Because our waterways are not at all important. So Yeah. Because when your waterways look like this, you know that there's be mass amounts of fish in them. So We'll just do that, and hopefully they'll catch enough fish where this turns out profitable. So if they don't, I'm going to get rid of it. And you know, actually a really smart idea I just had, is you know how the pollution is only on one side of the river? If I place one of these right here, hopefully the pollution will go on both sides, and we'll have extra pollution. So it should be really, really helpful. This is probably just what normal like Idaho rivers look like anyways. You know, all the potato pollution. I just saw some people get happy over here. What's happening? Oh. Is that why? We're getting happy because of this. That uh, cost of profit, that is worth it. We are going to make billions off of this one factory. Alright, we're starting to run out of space to build over here. So I think what we now need to do is build a bridge. And we're going to start bridging out over to here. Where we can build, you know, a better civilization. So let me build the road that will first connect all the citizens from that side to here and now what I'm gonna do is build a bridge alright I never said that the bridge was gonna be efficient you know if you think about it this thing still has to get underneath that bridge so that's why it has to be that tall because you know it has the weird old antenna thing so now this bridge is proper and anything can get underneath it maybe not through it because the amount of pillars that there are now what we can do over here we can build some nice beachfront properties I mean, we even have the beach here. And look at it. This must be like a billion dollar view. You get the battleship. You know how cool that would be? The USS Ronald Reagan. You know, if there's a USS Ronald Reagan, is there a USS Joe Biden? If so, where is it and how much? Yes, I even put down the cool little hotel thing in, you know, that view of the battleship, USS Ronald Reagan, and the entire city so far. That must be like a billion dollar view right there. Now, I'm really starting to think any city that I build, it's like if a state didn't have any police force. That's just, you know, they're just unpoliced states. That's all these things are. Like, what the hell is this bridge? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not realize how many cars were using this, but, you know. <laughs> so as I'm kind of looking at it, people over here, if they want to get over there, they have to go through the funny bridge. Now, while the funny bridge is being used by everyone, 
we might be able to do a better idea of getting these people to here. These people are here. Mainly because I'm noticing a loss in profit. Only reason why I do anything for my citizens in this entire city. So we're gonna build another bridge. Yeah, I made sure while building this bridge, it might just be quicker to just drive this way and go on this one and then get over here. Well, you know, they wanted it, so they have it. And also what's kind of funny is now the boats have to like go through this and everything. So, you know. <laughs> to get your nuclear radiation fish, you have to, you know, try a little bit more, I guess. But you know, they make it through. Alright, I think it might be time to finally build ourselves a big airport. So we need to start off by, you know, clearing out an area. And we're going to do it, you know, right at the top of the mountain. Because I think that would be the best spot for our airport here. And that costs like $44,000 just to do that. And we need to get rid of the rocks. Because, get rid of the rocks. And, now all we have to do. Alright, what airport though? Now we can just go ahead and build some nice aircraft stands. We're going to get this airport running in no time. And now, all we have to do is just build a runway. This thing's too short. There we go. One nice, safe runway for planes to ran land on. And then we'll just build a taxiway. Ah, uh, yes, the nice, safest runway out of all runways. You know, by far. Oh, and airplanes are already starting to take off. I haven't even set the thing up and they're already working. Okay. Now we're just gonna build our nice safe dirt road to get there. There we go. I'd say that's a pretty safe looking airport. And we'll even put some real estate right here. You know, or increase the real estate value by putting them right next to the airport. You know, I would absolutely love to live in one of these houses this close to the airport. Not gonna lie. It would have to be the best house in all of the city so far. And that was just residential. Ah, yes. Safest house on earth right here. <laughs> and now that we have the excellent airport, I think it's only safe to say that now we need to have a giant stadium. We'll give it really close to the airport so it has really good airport access. Look at that. Now we can watch soccer and everything. I know that there's like one person that's watching this is like, no, it's not soccer, it's football. You know what I say? It's it's soccer. Okay. Football, you play with the ball and you catch it. Soccer, you kick it. You know, that makes sense. And you know what? Just so the city works even better, I'm going to take a road and I'm going to build it as high as I can. And we are going to make this road go all the way back over to here. We're going to sweep it through the river, as you know, and we're going to bring it down right there. Now everyone that lives over here can also get over here. And then these people, they have easier access to the stadium. And I guess also airport, but stadium. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video, guys. Really hope that you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. It really helps my channel out a lot. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave you with these cinematic shots, and see you next time.